What's going on guys? Greg with North Coast Baseball Cards and today we have a 25 card PSA reveal. These are all ultra modern cards. I will tell you guys how quick they came back to me. <laughs> very, very quick. Um, it arrived at PSA on September 29th. It was entered in their system the next day. In the past it would take a month to two months for them to even enter it. Back at my door today on November 17th. So just about a month and a half. This was 22 bucks a card. Let's get into it. I'm going to go over the nines we got in the order first. First up, we got 2020 Bowman Chrome Prospects, Anthony Volpe and a PSA 9. It'll be interesting to see. I thought he was going to get called up this year. Hopefully he gets called up next year, but they have a lot of pros middle infield prospects in the Yankees farm system. Next up, from one of my favorite sets, this was one of the five cards I was hoping to get a PSA 10 on, just because um, it's a, such a sick card, and it's from one of my favorite sets, Tops 3D. Still have a couple more of those to rip. I always get a bunch of these when they come out. But yeah, this is a PSA 9. Third one, from 2021 Bowman Draft Sapphire, we got Jefferson Cuero. And uh, this is the gold out of 15. Pretty good Milwaukee Brewers catching prospect. He started in low A this year and moved up to high A. Next up, we have Evan Carter. This was the one card I was anticipating coming back a nine just because there was some print lines. But pretty uh, hyped up prospect in the Rangers system. Top 50 prospect, I think. So yeah, very happy to get that back. Then our final nine is another Tops 3D, Julio Franco. This is the rookie class motion. These were the inserts in the packs. I think there were two per pack. That one came back a nine, so. Excuse me. All right, let's get into the tens. First up, from Tops Living Set, we have Julio Rodriguez in a PSA 10. I was not too sure if this was gonna get a 10. As you can see, left to right centering's a little off, but Got the 10. Next up from the 582 Montgomery Club, set number four, we have a Wander Franco in a PSA 10. Um, I've been telling people, like, <laughs> I think he's undervalued in the hobby right now, especially after Wander Mania. Um, I think he's going to be, I think he's going to be just fine. I'll just say that. <laughs> Next up, another Topps Living set, Julio Rodriguez in a PSA 10. Here's one of the cards I was hoping that would gem. We have from Tops Now. This is the blue parallel. This is out of 49. Julio Rodriguez. He sets the new rookie first round home run record. So very happy to get this card in a 10. That's one of the ones that I was hoping to get. And then from set three from 2022 Montgomery Club, we have Wander Franco, PSA 10. From set five of 582 Montgomery Club, Julio Rodriguez and a PSA 10. Very happy about that. There was a, I don't know if you guys can see that, there's a speck of white on the corner. So I wasn't sure if that was going to knock it down to a nine, but graded a 10. So I'm pretty happy with that. And then we have a Tops 3D Mike Trout. I don't like this picture of him. Uh, <laughs> you know, he's obviously fielding a base hit, but still very cool. Um, PSA 10. And then the one Tops 3D PSA 10 we got for Julio is right here. Very happy to get that. And then from 2021 Bowman Chrome Sapphire Edition, we have Jason Dominguez in Aqua and a PSA 10. If this image looks familiar, it is exactly the same as, I believe, 2020 Bowman draft sapphire so <laughs> tops needs to add different images of the players it feels like it's always different variations of the same picture we have an o'neill Cruz and a psa 10 from the rookie class motion tops 3d then we have an anthony volpe base chrome and a psa 10 Bobby Witt, Rookie Class Motion, PSA 10 from Tops 3D. And 
and then a rare eBay buy um, a couple months ago that turned into a PSA 10. I got this card for 14 or 15 bucks, Riley Green. I think he's going to be a superstar, and I am very surprised. His cards were going for five times as much as they were now uh, when, you know, prior to getting called up. It's kind of weird how that works. Next up, we have a Dre Jameson PSA 10. Uh, this is the Blue Wave. So he's been, I don't know if his stats will show it. No, those are his college stats. He has been a pretty bad pitcher in the minor leagues, <laughs> but he got called up this year. He went 4-0. I think he had a sub-2 ERA, and so I said, why not? <laughs> this is a big card coming up. This was one of the cards that I was hoping to get a PSA 10. I believe it's maybe in the five to $700 range. Um, this is Sedeni Raffaella PSA 10. This is uh, the orange sapphire. So... In the Boston farm system, uh, I don't think he's, I think he's a top 100 prospect, um, but he's like number two or three behind Marcelo Mayer. But yeah, this guy has a lot of hype behind him right now. From Finest Flashbacks, we have Bobby Witt, the base in a PSA 10. I was worried about the centering on this one, but it looks like they gave me that, um, what is it, 55 45 allowance? Yeah, they definitely gave that to me on this the front of this card, so not complaining. <laughs> Bowman First Edition, we have Jackson Trio, PSA 10. He is a top 10 prospect. He lit it up last year, I believe. He is in double A now, and he is only 18. Wow. Next up, we have a Another Sedeni Raffaella, PSA 10. This is in the sky blue foil. We have Anthony Volpe, base in a PSA 10. And another Jackson Trio on a PSA 10. So yeah, guys, we did pretty good. We had a 80% gem rate, I believe. A um, lot better than my previous orders. I thought they'd been going a little rough. I don't know. It seemed like they were grading pretty hard a while ago. But like I do with all my PSA um, reveal videos, we're going to be giving away this PSA 9 Anthony Volpe. Um, in the, you have to like, like this video. You have to comment. In the comment, you need to tell me um, who are the top prospects you're looking forward to watching uh, this upcoming baseball season. And you also have to be subscribed. All right, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.